Me llamo Luis y habla de mí, de yo, de, de, when I was 13, 14 years old, I was molested and raped as a child. I'm 47 today. Now one day, I forget what happened to me 25 years ago plus. And I'm still fighting that. People would say that because what happened to me when I was 13, 14 years old, because I was gay. No, not because of that. It's because when you're a victim of rape or domestic violence, you don't seem to remember your life. You, you have it on pause because you're busy trying to make a living, trying to create who you are, your identity, who, who you want to be and where you want to go. In today's society, growing up, it wasn't easy being who you are. Especially like, you know, you're a Mexican. I'm grown and I'm born and raised in Palm Springs, California. I was one of the few Latinos parents were educated. My mother was a doctor, my father was a lawyer. So I was not just anyone. So I don't know what is being poor or what not to have because I have two parents who were educated, you know, with degrees. So I live, you know, the white thing, you want to call it. In high school, I would call coconut, cracker, or a cookie because who my parents were. Not my fault. But end of the day, my fault. Um, I came out, I'm not stood out being gay. I don't like to be labeled as gay. I'll tell you, I have a husband. If that really takes you to know I'm gay, that's up to you. But I don't like the word gay. Why do we have to identify ourselves as being gay? Why you have to identify your Latino? Why you identify your being your heterosexual? It's not. But being, being an LGBT member, it's hard. I remember in school, in high school and in school, I wasn't gay. I mean, I wasn't like, you know, you know a little, little queen. Um, but after high school, college, I got to know life, party here and there. I got to realize that who I was, but I've been, I've been hiding all my life. And I couldn't come out to my parents. And to this day, um, my mother who died five years ago of cancer, she didn't know I was gay. My father was 83 today, doesn't know that I'm gay. So I'm living a double life as we speak. He doesn't know that I'm gay at all, at all. So it's hard for me still at 47 years old to tell my old man that I'm gay, I can't. And I can't, I don't even know how to tell him that I'm gay. Because my father's a whole Latino Chicano back in the hood, fighting with Santa Chavez, walking the streets, with Lourdes Huerta, um, uh, a council in auditory, Lourdes Suli, Lourdes Molina, back in the day, was fighting who we were. But they forgot that Latinos were gay too. And we're all fighting to be recognized and be responsible for who we are. Gay doesn't mean you're male or female, it's just you're a person. And what I, what I hinder is when I came out being gay, I did drugs, alcohol, I did so many stuff because I would deny who I was, what I wanted to be. I was afraid that my friends, family, would not accept me for who I, uh, who I was, what I was going through. And as I walk out in the tent, from Palm Springs to San Francisco to San Diego to Mexico, I see a lot of Latinos, especially like parents, throw their kids out on the street at 15 and 14. My husband, Leonel Molina, he's an attorney. He came from my Salvador to the US. He was 15 years old when his parents were all threw him out on the street at 15. He was in the South East High School. At 15 years old, at 15, what were you guys at at 15? He was out on the streets, eating in the streets. Luckily, his brother found him and, and took him in. So there's many Latinos across California, across the country, who are thrown out by the parents. I don't know what's worse, being a gay girl or a gay boy. Because Rafael has two girls. But most men, when they find out their son's gay, it's like, it's, it's really hard, really hard for a man to accept another man being gay. At the end of the day, I'm more different than any of you guys here. At the end of the day, I put my pants on one by one. I read red. I don't read purple. 
I gotta, I gotta pay taxes, Uncle Sam. I gotta vote for the next president of the United States, which is what I need to do today. Um, but I'm out here fighting who I am and what I am. It's not easy. It, it ain't that easy. As so today is when I go clubbing with my friends, you laugh at this. I say, hey, look at that girl, she's beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful, she's hot. And my own friends or people that know me, they're on game. We keep just saying, oh, hey, I want to eat that. They go, no, 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 okay, I'm married. No more of that. Go with her. I go, hey, bro, I'm gay. No, they let us? I'm gay, yeah. Wow. What do you think gay is? Gay people, people think gay, you have to be a queen. You have to be a girl. You have to wear those tight shirts and like this or whatever they do. You know, you don't have to. You know what I mean? A gay person can be any of us here. You don't have to be gay and act, you know, or a girl. You know, most girls are, we call them butch. They're short hair and, and they're mighty matcha. They could be, but they could be girls that are beautiful, like Winnie Spears, Madonna, Christina Aguilera, Shakira. They can be gay, but they're, they're beautiful. But people look at us that we have to be a certain type, and we're not. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud who I am and who I am today. It's not easy waking up every day, but I can tell you one thing is, I'm very happy who I am. I have a house in Palm Springs, North Hollywood, Lake Havasu. I'm doing very fine. And in the day, each one of you here, you, and I'm sure you had to grow up, that like, they call you a beaner, a Mexican, a Salvadeno, a Salvador, I mean, you know, they call you different names here. They call you fat, they call you skinny, or they make fun of your parents because they're poor, or they make fun of you because you don't speak English. In the day, each one of you here, someone told you that you were, you, that you were bad, you were no good that your parents were this, your parents were that. Or you know what, look at my hija, she's very beautiful, you're not. Or you don't dress the right way. Or you don't have the right, or you don't, you don't live in, you don't live in Beverly Hills, but you live in Boyle Heights. You don't have a BMW, but you have a Toyota. It doesn't matter. End of the day is be happy who you are, fight who you are, and if you don't know anybody out there being gay, support them. You just remember guys, one day, you will have a son or daughter in school that they will be punished because who they are and what they are and how they look like.